mum to me you know, and tell me say he's a bully. I get bully, you know. You see me? And I go tell you know, this, you know. People controlling a blood clad picnic, them, you know. I put on my glasses called darkness. I say controlling a blood clad picnic. I make sure I go over to this man and I go know him face, you know. I go know him blood clad face and make sure I talk to him teacher and I tell him I say, deal with him. When I go over to the him, she stand up over in the class, you know. She say, no, she's a him, stand up over too. That means it's a regular thing for you. I tell you know, this. I'm going to send my blood clot youth to the road to make problems with people. And then mother grow him. And me I grow him. You know why me I grow him? Because me have to teach him the right way. What me know. Because I'm a troublemaker. I tell you that I send him to the road to learn. You understand me? So I'm going to tell him this pussy hole. I'm going to lift it in my money. Now. You see me? Oh, the parents out there, you know the type of bomb clot pick me want to have. We don't know how the youth them want to grow. We don't know what we want to put in them. We don't know the type of youth want to send out come a road. I tell them this. We don't keep them on a blood clot yard if we don't want them here. I tell them that straight. Because no youth now come deal with my youth now. We are not supposed to say, you know. I now go bury my blood clot pick me for nobody. I tell them that straight, you know. I say, I go know him. I see him and I know him. And I look at youth selling up. But I go tell you this. I make sure I bring it to the teacher and say, Teach, deal with it. My youth they even talk. My son they even talk, he send up an index and do him work. You come over on the table and he put him on the table and look you box off him, you box off him, book off on the table and them, then them weigh them and give him with him. You understand me? I'm gonna tell him this. He said, I'm gonna hide my face. So said, my face and look at my blood clot ugly face. Remember me telling you that. Deal with no bum buckler you. Deal with uno fucking you. Remember me telling you that. We never run joke with people. Seven years and subscribers. Welcome back to D&D News Media. Now the last video I did, I tell you, say, by the time the video drop, I dip on a plane. Now I dip overseas, my people, the work continue. We just take a day and a half, find which part of the drugstore there, find out where I can get this to buy, that for buy, that type of candle there, find out which part of the mountain there, because I dip overseas for a little bit. So I guess the work I got to do my people, so, I don't know nothing to worry about. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. My people, now, a whole heap of things exposed over a couple of days. Our man exposed some things about Vibes Cartel. I do need to hear it. And things don't look good in our schools back in Jamaica. The church people, them need for prayer. And also, the world and them need for prayer as well. A whole heap of things are going on. They want to take over our youths. They want to take over our children. You understand? And at the end of the day, we are all one people. We are all one people, so we are for those. Do what we are for do. You get me? Yeah. So, as I say, my people, I'm there overseas. I don't know if I can link up. Link me up on the phone, or you can comment in the comment section and get my number and reach out to me. So, a whole heap of things happen, my people. A whole heap of look, look or something, and I have some clippings with some people, including Vibes Cartel, I'm wanting to see it. Because it's a very serious clipping. So, I can send it to you right now. So you can see it. So, big up on yourself, my people. Stay safe. Because all whole heap of demons out there. All the heap of things are going out there in the atmosphere. That man and them let out of prison, my people. Them not only let him out of prison, but then let him out. And let out everybody we are working with him. So you see your life funny? Right now, P D D. Get lock up, my people. To tell me he's getting I bullied like at school. Yeah, get right, lock right. up, you know. And right. we we'll go seven years old. My word, you're so much to me, you know. Jay tell me, say that bully. Remember, my bully, you know. You see me? I'm going to tell you this, you know. People controlling a blood clad picnic, you know. Put on my glasses, got darkness. I say, controlling a blood clad picnic. I make sure I go over to this man, I'm going to know him face, you know. I'm going to know him blood clad face and make sure I talk to him, teach him, and tell him, I deal with him. When I go over there, she him, she stand up over in the class, you know, she say, you know, she's a him, she stand up over too. That means she's a regular thing for me, tell you know this. I'm going to send my blood clot youth to the road to make problems with people. And then mother grow him. 
And me a grow him, you know why me a grow him? Because me have to teach him the right way, what me know. Because me is not a troublemaker. Me I tell you that, me send him to work for go learn. You understand me? So me I tell him that this pussy hole there, you know. Me not go lift it in my money, you know. You see me? Oh, the parents out there, you know the type of bum buckler pick me want to have. You don't know the youth them want to grow. You don't know what want to put in a them. You don't know the type of youth want to send out come a road. Me I tell you this. I want to keep them on a blood clot yard if you don't want them. You hear me? I tell you that straight. Because no youth now come deal with my youth now. And they just go so, you know. I now go bury my blood clot picnic for nobody. You know? I tell you that straight, you know. I say I go know him. I see him and I know him. I not a little youth selling up. Or I go tell you this. I make sure I bring it to the teacher. I say, teach, deal with it. My youth they even talk. My son they even talk. I say, I'm index. I do him work. You come up by the table. And he put him on the table and look, you box off him, you box off him, book off of the table and them, and them weigh them and give him a deal with them. You understand what I'm going to tell you this? He said, I don't hide my face. So said, my face and look at my blood clot ugly face. Remember me telling you that? Deal with no bum buckler, like you. Deal with no fucking you. Remember me telling you that? I don't run joke with people. Dead. Me, my seven years I'm old. You know, because that's another to me, you know. Put things in my food and drink, but slowly sick me off, you know. That means if my job done and dead, I don't look normal. And that's what I do to my mother. And that's what I do to him, that sister them, a Jamaica. And brother them. Put pies in at the jum. And put AIDS blood in at the jum. And slowly sick them off and then I drink the, the jum with the on top of the roof for store water each day. And I know said in it. And when I warn them, they not, them not take notice of it. Because when I stop me from warn them, said in at the jum where I drink the storage jum and store water on top of the roof. Let me tell you this vice cartel, I'm afraid I'm gonna suck your mother. Everybody in your music group can suck your mother. Shente, Spice, Tammy Lee, Sean Storm, Lisa, Shorty, and all your gang members with them help you. Can suck on your mother. You can suck on your mother. Andrew Olin, you responsible for my family that too. And, you, and the people that own the bank, your friend them, or own the bank, or any connection with them after UK or anybody in England, run to them family and tell them anything what they want to tell them. The bank teller them. Any rich family member who own a own bank, let me tell you this. Who know responsible for my family them sick off. I tell you that from now, and this naga done. I'm a, I forget my money. I may tell you, I'm my first million dollar. Forget my house of England for clean myself. And I may check me, then I go check every bank account. Every single bank account, me I come for. Me I come for you and you all in the bank first. Because who let out vice cartel, and who no never communicate with me. And every email I send the bank, I send Uno, Uno ignore it, and, and the people in the office in the Jamaica National delete it. But vice cartel can have enough time to come out and commit all them crimes that we commit, and I commit more crimes. While vice cartel are jail, I commit crimes at Jamaica, and I commit crimes at England, I send out others, and get there with the vice cartel, me and your war, pussy wall, and it's not done, gonna suck your mother. Everybody have to stand aside and watch me bring it down. Everybody. I got stand aside. All your family them have to run go to court and get them lawyer when me come for them. All of them have got to talk the truth. Everybody was surrounded and you have got to talk to them. I mean, I back down. All of them tell them they're going to shot me or stab me. I mean, I have no fear. I mean, I have no fear. You think that so, you are God in this world, Vice Cartel. And me and your blood clad God. That me I try to tell you. That me I tell you, I did them daddy. Because you are not my daddy. But you call yourself the teacher. If you are the blood clot teacher, vice cartel, and me are the principal, and when me call school, every teacher for bow down with blood clot with, with children and that. Pussy wall boy, Addy. If you are the blood clot teacher. And if you are the world boss, and me are the boss of the world where you live in a pussy wall vice cartel. Cause suck your mother. You're gonna kneel to me. All of your friends them, I'll get what them deserve. Just watch you are gonna go on. You think this done? Hey boy, Jeremy Ben, boy, yeah. Boy, you call yourself then? Yeah, you're the real then. A pussy wall boy. Me and you too. You rush on. We hack the whole world and I watch everybody on CCTV all over the world. You and the boy the Jeremy Bennett, watch me out and I run. No world. No world where me not living, where me living and I can't run. Just watch that. The Maroons will no longer accept violation of our rights and disrespect. And therefore, we are here today. We journeyed far and we sojourn to deliver a message. They will say I am political, but what you expect me to do? The point is, we have been soliciting a government for three and a half years, and today they have not responded to us. Today they have not attended one function, and Mark G has. Your future leader has, because he has vim, vigor, vitality. This man is a true man. This man is as real as it gets. 
So the Maroons came here today to deliver a powerful message that for those who think they can undermine the rights of those who were here 287 years before, we have a sad, sad message to deliver in a few months' time. Because the people are tired. I stand before you as chief of the Akonkon Maroons, not as a political... For months, and I sat down and I looked at the dates. For months, we were at that point where we said nobody knew if they were being investigated. The Integrity Commission didn't send a letter. I don't know. No, nobody has said anything to me. When you look at this report, the initial communication was September 30, 2022, regarding the omissions in the 2021 statutory declaration. There were follow-up requests for to provide additional information and corrections. February 23, 2023, March 6, 2023, March 12, 2023, April 4, 2023. He was interviewed on January 12, 2023. Further meetings and interviews were had and a significant meeting was had on the 31st of August, 2023. A letter was sent on May 5th, 2023. I'm going to make sure I'm going to write them down because we don't want to make no error. A letter was sent on May 5th, 2023, informing him of the referral received for investigations regarding his 2021 statutory declarations and the referral raised concerns about potential illicit enrichment and other issues. So here is the problem. Even if we're not concerned about the veracity, the truth in these documents, I am concerned that my leader, Dr. Andrew Holness, did not tell me as a voter, as an individual, as a citizen, that he knew that he was being questioned. All this time we were operating under the pretext that this was a dopey thing. Nobody don't know nothing about it. No, when you look at this report, and this is when you want to ask for facts, if you don't think the money is important, the honesty, the truth is important because you made me feel that nothing never goes on. And if you have interviews, you have emails, you have meetings, and a one-on-one -on -one thing. One of the meetings were held at his office. So tell me, Dion. Tell me, Dion, as a Jamaican. Even if I don't believe that the Barita people them said the, the, the thing right, or the bond thing not right, and I adequately earned my money, why would you not tell me that you knew that you were being questioned? Up card ring. You should have dead, but God save you. Jesus. Shia Messiah. Come on, the man. Yeah. It's too flat. Yeah. Open your mouth. And, and my advice to Mr. Onus is a simple one. I made some inquiries, and I'm told that he has a bag. I say to him, start packing because you are going. And if you don't believe me, speak to Mr. Bowden, uh, Bruce, that is. Pack your bags, put in your clothes and your belongings because you can't stay as Prime Minister of Jamaica and man. So, the Maroons, them were the upfront. Mr. L.A. Lewis and Mr. Richard Curry. You see me? We hear Queen Africa put out a video with there and she say a whole heap of things. I mean, know some people it might fly through one year and go through another year, but for me, it's situated right in my brain. I'm going to do a little research and find out see, how all the things are transpired. I may have a couple of questions I'm going to ask. You see me? So, are the Maroons here to free Jamaican people from the colonial masters them or there? Are the Maroons them there to sell you out to another stretch or another journey of slavery in the 21st century? Because I realize the 2030 they're right around the corner and whole heap of negotiations are big place, but the benefit of the people, them, 
you don't think the people must sleep, but when you don't think it's peace and safety, is always sudden destruction. So, me ask the maroon them there for free the people because history shows that the maroon them sell out. The Jamaican people are a bag of things going because the last time I try to ask a couple questions or try to evaluate the situation, me hear people tell me, say, hey, I'm not for going to maroon business and this and that. So, me is a free man, Pandalan. The government not have nothing for me, my brother. So, you know, I try to tell me, say, between the maroons and the Taino, because I hear say, I have a Taino chief in a Jamaica, you know. Um, uno in charge of all of the indigenous people in the land. Big question sign right there, so. So, now I tell me, say, I'm not free. Wake up. Something is coming in a phone direction, and you better want to clarify to the people them from now. You see me? Clarify what needs to be clarified. Talk about the treaty. So, this is what we are talking about. Sixthly, that they said Captain Kojo and his successors do use their best endeavors to take, kill, suppress, or destroy, either by themselves or jointly with any other number of men commanded on that service of their excellency, the governor or commander in chief for the time being. All the rebels who serve and who them call rebels are people like me who say, yo, me not under a governmental regime. You see the prey. So they must say, Whosoever they be throughout the island unless they submit to the same terms of accommodation granted to Captain Kojo and his successors. So Captain Kojo and his successors were granted accommodation. You see the ball game we are play. So all them people have your claims to them sovereign and all them people have your claims to them fight for our freedom. When obviously in their contract, what them have, what them call the treaty. And we don't know if the treaty, the solo treaty, or which treaty, because Queen Africa did that about two treaty. But we soon come back to that, right? So, you see the prey? If this is the treaty where Uno people are on, we don't need to fall to the forefront to make some clarification. You see the prey? You see the ball game? Big ball game I play right as so. up. We have more information, but we are going to save it for another time. Tell me what you think about this. Keep on the thoughts in the comment section. Yeah. You know, because that's another to me, you know. Put things in my food and drink, but slowly sick me off, you know. That means that if I drop down and dead, I don't look normal. And that's another to my mother. And that's another to him, that sister that my Jamaica. And brother them. Put pies in at the jump and put AIDS blood in at the jump. And slowly sick them off and then I drink the, the jum with the on top of the roof and store water each day. And the nose head in it. And when I warn them, them not, them not take notice it. Because when I stop me from warning them, set in at the jump where them are drinking the storage jump and store water up on top of the roof. Let me tell you this vice card, I'm afraid that you can suck your mother. And everybody in your music group can suck your mother. Shente Spice, Tammy Lee, Sean Storm, Lisa, Shorty, and all of your gang members with them help you can suck on the mother. You can suck your mother. And Andrew Olin, you responsible for my family that too. And, your, and the people that own the bank are your friend them or own the bank or any connection with them after UK or anybody in England run to them family and tell them anything what they want to tell them the bank teller them any rich family member who want to own the bank let me tell you this who know responsible for my family them sick off I tell you that from now and this now got done I'm going to have to get my money I'm going to tell you this I'm going to my first million dollar to get my house in England to clean myself and then I'm going to check, I'm going to check every bank account every single bank account I'm going to come for I come for you and you all in the bank first. Because you don't let out vice cartel. And you don't never communicate with me. And every email I send the bank, I send you, you don't ignore it. And the people in the office, in the Jamaica National, delete it. The vice cartel can't have enough time to come out and commit all them crimes that we commit. And I commit more crimes. While vice cartel are jail, I commit crimes. A Jamaica and a comic crimes at England and send out others and get there with the vice cartel. Me and your war, pussy wall. And it's not done, suck your mother. Everybody have to stand aside and watch me bring it down. Everybody. I got to stand aside. All your family them have to run go to court and get them lawyer when me come for them. All of them have got to talk the truth. Everybody was surrounded, you have got to talk to me. I'm not back down. All of them tell them so they have shot me or not stab me. I'm not no fear. I'm not no fear. You think that so you are God in this world, vice cartel. And me and your blood clad God. That me I try to tell you. That me I tell you, I did them daddy, cause you are not my daddy. Or you call yourself the teacher. If you are the blood clot teacher, vice cartel, and me are the principal. And when me call school, every teacher have about done with blood clot with, with children and that. Pussy wall boy, Addy. If you are the blood clot teacher. And if you are the world boss, and me are the boss of the world where you live in a pussy wall vice cartel. Cause suck your mother. You are gonna kneel to me. All of your friend them. I'll get what them deserve. Just watch you are gonna go on. You think this done? 
Hey boy, Jeremy Ben, boy, yeah. Boy, you call yourself then? Yeah, you're the real then. A hey, pussy old boy. Me and you too. You rush on. We hack the whole world. And I watch everybody on CCTV all over the world. You and a boy, the Jeremy Bennett. Watch me and I don't run. No world. No world where me not living, where me living and I can't run. Just watch that. Alright, I'll let you hear this one, right? If I... If I am a practitioner, if I... Doing spiritual work for people... And you, you, you who watching this video, you come at me and tell me, hey, Rev, I need a piece of work done, a thing is going good, thing is this, thing is that, thing is the other. Now, what I supposed to do, because you come at me, is do a work for you, you know? For three reasons, and then I'll give you the flip side of what I go and talk about after. Because if you come at me, believe that you believe something wrong in some way or the other. And if you believe that something wrong with me, that you're looking for help. Now, if you were come by me, and me give you help and take your money, <laughs> you will go by somebody else. And they will help you and take your money. Now, I really say that so you will understand, you know, that why they say people just practice law. And people just practice medicine. When you go by a lawyer, a lawyer just tell you, all right, let me take the case. Because if you ain't, if you ain't take your case, somebody else go take your case, you go lose business. Right? No. The same thing a doctor does do, right? A doctor does never be sure what really wrong with you, you know. But based on their knowledge, that does dip in their knowledge base and see what coincides. So the difference with a spiritual practitioner or a spiritual healer in some cases, what does happen is that it has a spirit guidance. It has be a deeper thing taking place. And some after a while does abuse that gifting and they work it for filthy lucre. Now you can't vex with them because you are carrying nothing. And you want somebody to get into the spirit thing and make you feel better or make you better. Because what really happening is that you don't understand what a practitioner does go through. Sometimes what a practitioner does do sometimes is stand in the gap for you. Now, I want you to be mindful that it have a flip side to this side. This is both sides. This is work. It have them who just do their work for good and just who does do their work for money. I really want to help you because you need help. And I go help you, you know, but you got to pay some money. Right? Because a, a practitioner just had to go through some stuff. It has things certain practitioners they can't do. Well, you could do what you want. It has things them can't do. Because it's spirit that working. Whether you want to say Holy Spirit, whether it's spirit of divination, whether it's spirits from out, out of the deep, spirit from up in the elements, it doesn't matter what it is. It's spirit working and spirit laws and carnal laws is two different things. So it has some stuff that does have to take place that has been real strenuous on the body. And that is why when after a time it has some practitioners that has put on the work because the body can't take it no more. But you don't really know that because you just want a work done. And because you want a work done, you will just use the system of spirituality. So they have a right to take your money. Yeah, they have a right to take your money. And then the kind of work some are going for, to tie somebody husband, to make sure somebody suffer, to make sure that you get your mother house against your brother and sister and them, because them wasn't there to take care of she. And them kind of thing is what I'm talking about. So you, you going for all kind of work. But how people just do all kind of work. So, next time you're going by a person that do spiritual work, next time you're going for a reading, it, they, they're supposed to charge you. You know why? Because you are studying upon yourself. Now, that's some people really need help, eh? Let me say that before I forget to say it in the video done. It has some people they really need it because they're in a bubble because somebody hit them a serious spirit blow here, they are everywhere. And if all they don't believe it has spirit blow, trust me. Trust me. All they don't know the spirit laws. So some people really need help and you know they're going out to get help. It's just some have money and some don't. Right? So when you're going for a spirit work next time. Be mindful that somebody going and stand in the gap for you. And if you don't want to stand in the gap, mean ask somebody. Right? 
You're talking about intercessor, intercessor. Somebody in between you and a situation. So you come like a car going and bouncing and somebody say, let me stand up in front and take the last superhero thing there. Right? So take the knowledge of Pastor John. A Obia story. I'm going to do a few for you. So I'm going to have an idea how this thing has been. This man get hold for grand larceny. So when he get hold, the mother going looking for Obia because she know he guilty and he going to make a big jail. When done now, she go on by the Obia man and the Obia woman that working together. When they do, they make a band for him to put on and they close in court and they walk a spirit walk now. When he reach in court and the judge say to the witness that, that see because the judge was short jail, the witness, the judge say to the witness, do you see the man in court here today? The person look around, they look around, they say no, no, your honor. The judge say look again, look again, look again. The man look again, she, the man right there in court, she can't see the man. Diobia. When done, the man get dismissed from the case. The, the woman takes his son and she go on with his son. When she go on with his son, hear what she's saying to herself. She said, them, them will be a people and them. She said, they maybe went in the cemetery and dig up Satan, dig up some kind of thing with them, set up Obia thing that they like. When that done, and she sat down the night, police come by she house. When police come by she house, take she son and carry she son back in the jail. She fly down the road. Go on by the Obia people and tell the Obia people, the police come and take my son and he get off. So when they come back for and all kind of thing, you know the you know the Obia man tell she, they, and they live, one living north, one living south. Eh? The Obia man tell she, when they did saying we dig up all kind of thing from any cemetery and pull Satan by the tail, you then studying that is get we get your son out of jail that he could go free. That is our Obia story. When all you're going and look for Obia work, all you have to be careful what all you're doing, and most important, all you have to be careful what all you're saying because it's all kind of Obia. Know what kind of Obia you're going and look for, and next thing, learn to shut up.